That's what I think. Uh, good morning. Uh, we just had a very, very good meeting with our members. As I said on Friday, uh, we all have to reflect on what we could have done better. Uh, and this discussion was an honest and very constructive step forward. We are united around a common set of principles. We are united around our agenda. And we all want to advance the cause of freedom and limited government. We all want to make it easier for families to pay the bills and take care of their loved ones. We all want a system in health care where everybody can have access to affordable coverage. We have more choice and competition. We don't want a government-run health care system. We all agree on these things. So we're not going to retrench into our corners or put up dividing lines. Today, we broke down many of those dividing lines in, within our conference. There's too much at stake to get bogged down in all of that. We're going to move forward on the things the American people sent us here to do. Today, the House is going to act on another Congressional Review Act measure to reverse bad regulations. So far, Congress has sent 10 of these measures to the President's desk. In the 20 years before this, Congress did one of these. We're also committed to securing our border, rebuilding our military, and fixing our infrastructure. And we want this to be the last tax season Americans have to put up with this broken tax code. Since I became Speaker, I have talked about the need to go from being an opposition party to being a proposition party and a governing party. It may take a little bit more time, but we are certainly listening and we're going to get there. The way I would just des describe the meeting we just had with our members is we are all going to work together and listen together until we get this right. It is just too important. Obamacare is a collapsing law. Obamacare is doing too much damage to families. And so we're going to get this right. And in the meantime, we're going to do all of our other work that we came here to do. Well, I want to convey exactly what the speaker just said. We had a very good conference. A conference that, uh, from a microcosm, people on all sides. And the discussion was exactly what the American people are talking about. We promised that we would repeal and replace Obamacare. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Friday, the timeline wasn't there. The votes were not there yet. That doesn't mean that we're not going to get there. And that's what this conference was about and what we're actually working towards. In the meantime, we will go back onto the floor, as the speaker talked about, from our regulatory reform. As you watched, prior to this Congress, only one has ever been signed into law. Well, we will take the FCC privacy regulation up. That will be the 15th one that has passed the House. The President signed four others into law yesterday, again surpassing the total. This is the part of the plan of putting America back to work, bringing common sense regulation back, and continuing on our path to repeal and replace Obamacare. And at coming out of that conference, I have more confidence that we will get it done. After this morning, the resolve of our conference to repeal Obamacare and replace it has never been stronger. I think it was really positive. Uh, the, the openness that members have uh, to work and to get the yes that weren't there. And I do think it was important again to point out uh, that the vast majority of our conference was already there in support of the bill that we want to put on President Trump's desk. Uh, to my Democrat colleagues who were celebrating Friday's action, uh, I think their, uh, their celebration is premature because I think we're closer today to repealing Obamacare than we've ever been before, and surely even closer than we were Friday. So we're going to keep working. Now, this issue isn't going away. Obamacare continues to fail the American people. You're going to continue to see double-digit increases in premiums because Obamacare doesn't work. And so the fact that our conference is more resolved than ever to repeal this law is very encouraging. And uh, we're not going to stop until we get it done. Coming out of the conference, I remain very optimistic about our agenda. And from the beginning, we've known that it is a very aggressive agenda that we have. And we remain committed to a better health care future to every person in this country. We also want to get to tax reform, keeping America safe, rolling back the regulations. We're working on that again this week putting people back at the center of this government. We are committed, fully committed, to rethinking this government from top to bottom. Because if there's one thing that last week taught us is that we are united around shared goals. Now, how we go about implementing our vision is sometimes where we differ. But I am confident, I'm confident in our ability to come together, unify around shared goals, and improve everybody's 
lives in this country. More freedom, more opportunity for everyone in this country. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> uh, two questions, if, if I may. Uh, one, two. should Devin... Should Devin Nunes recuse himself from the Russia investigation? And two, do you know the source of his information? Uh, no one knows. Okay. Mr. Speaker, can you talk about exactly what you mean by getting it right on the Affordable Care Act now? Obviously, insurers have to make decisions by right. June. And do you think Probably that, before that. Yeah, but they're making decisions really soon. Do you anticipate either any action before Easter recess or before August recess? I won't, I won't year? tell you the timeline because we want to get it right. Uh, we have an aggressive agenda, and we've been mov moving quickly on this aggressive agenda, but we want to make sure that we get it right. We had a very constructive meeting with our members. Um, some of those who were in the no camp um, expressed a willingness to work on getting to yes and to making this work. Uh, we want to get it right. We're going to keep talking to each other until we get it right. I'm not going to put a timeline on it because this is too important uh, to, 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 to not get right and to put an artificial timeline on it. Um, you're right, the insurers. Yeah, they've got to make it. This, that's why I'm so worried about this issue. Uh, this law is collapsing. You're going to see big, if, if Obamacare just stays as is, that's not acceptable for the American people. That's not what we said we would do. So we're going to go figure out how we get this done. And I think what's confusing to everybody is we have to use these Senate rules. We call them reconciliation. You know what that is? That means you can't pass the bill you really want to pass in the House because it gets filibustered in the Senate. You have to pass a bill in the House that can get through and prevent a filibuster. And th it is that frustration that our members are grappling with right now. Last yeah, Mr. Speaker. Last question. Oh, it was the lady behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Who you with? Alice Olsen with Talking Points Memo. Um, a lot of outside groups are calling on Republicans to use the upcoming Watch. CR to defund Planned Parenthood. Is there any. Oh, we, we, think the best, that? we think reconciliation is the tool because that gets it in law. Yeah. Uh, reconciliation is the way to go. Go Mr. ahead. I'll give you a Mr. Speaker, any sign that the Freedom Caucus members are willing to compromise? Yeah, we like that's what I was saying. We have we have our members. I don't want us to become a factionalized majority. I want us to become a unified majority. And that means we're gonna sit down and talk things out until we get there. And that's exactly what we're doing. And we saw good overtures from those members from different parts of our conference to get there because we all share these goals and we're just gonna have to figure out how to get it done. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Yes, 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 I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Where do you want me to stand? Do you want me to move up? Do you want me to move up?